Hi everybody, Grandad here again. And what am I up to today? Well today I'm going to do a little bit more science with you. And uh, I'm going to try an experiment which I saw on YouTube. Uh, another YouTuber by the name of Street Chip Tips. Street Tips. And he's got a very good channel. He's very good at uh, metal defining and uh, doing gold and all sorts of things like that. Now I saw on one of his videos where he was using x-ray films and he was extracting the uh, silver from them. Now I haven't got any x-ray films but as you know I used to be a photographer and uh, I've taken loads of pictures over the years and I've got a, quite a large quantity of um, black and white films. Now I've, I've measured out, I've weighed them and I've measured out these uh, black and white uh, negatives which uh, lots of people have got in their homes but uh, th I mean they don't use uh, black and white uh, films anymore because films and cameras have changed so tremendously now I've got an awful lot of these and I've obviously printed them and I've got uh, uh, positives now of these these are the negatives but I thought well I'm not going to produce any more photographs from these because I've got the I've got the photographs and if I need to make a copy I can always photograph one of the photographs which you, you can do on a copier so that's no problem so these really are redundant and they're no good anymore now I've got a whole heap of them this is about a quarter of, of the films I've got now I've, I've weighed these and I've written it on this little bit of paper here and there's a hundred point six grams there just over a hundred grams of uh, films and uh, so what I'm gonna do I've got my safety glasses on already and my overall I'm going to put some uh, rubber gloves on now because although these chemicals I'm using today aren't really dangerous you don't want to get them all over you and they're a bit smelly anyway and it's a good idea to uh, as I say always to wear your protective gloves because uh, if you uh, do happen to spill any and splash any in your face it's obviously not going to do you any good now what I've got here is a large empty beaker and it's one of these beakers that uh, um, a Pyrex so they'll take heat now the, the first start of this isn't going to produce any heat and this other jug I've got here has just got clean water in it now what you do is uh, you use household bleach now this is just ordinary common garden household bleach I bought it at Wilco's didn't cost very much now it's a thin variety you can get thick bleaches and you can get thin bleaches now this is a, a thin bleach so what I'm going to do is pour a quantity that was a bit difficult to undo these a quantity of this bleach into the big beaker um, I'm probably gonna have to use the whole uh, consignment here of bleach because I want it to be at least as deep oh see now I've spilled some straight away so that's not good but uh, I'm gonna put some bleach on there I'll just get a little mop for that Always a good idea to have a little bit of tissue hand. Now it's a little bit windy today and it's trying to rain on me, which is a nuisance. Uh, I'm hoping that before I started the sun was out and it doesn't know what to do today. It's one minute it's sunny, next minute it's trying to rain. But it's best to have a little cloth there to mop up any uh, spillage. Now what I'm going to do is uh, put these negatives. I've got one big one there. <laughs> Now on here, I don't know whether you can see it on camera, I don't think you will be able to, but there's a slight silvery sheen to these films because they're really old and when they get old they become quite dangerous because they can start fires, they can spontaneously combust. So negative films aren't a good idea to keep hanging around unless you've got a special facility where you keep them. But they're already starting to show up the silver. Now if I put this into the liquid and I'll put that one there and I'll put a few more in just to drop them in willy-nilly and uh, try to separate them as best I can put them into this bleach they immediately start to react with the bleach and it's coming on to rain quite quickly now and already that uh, bleach is start to strip the uh, the silver chloride I think it is or I don't know, I think it's chloride I think it's oxide or chloride that bleach is immediately starting to strip the uh, the films and they're going into solution now you don't have to add any other chemicals to this yet but uh, that's the process and it's starting to spit with rain now which is really is annoying I'm getting a few bubbles coming there 
but I don't know whether you can see that but immediately it's starting to strip off the uh, just drip that one over there you can see that it's immediately starting to strip off the uh, the films there now what I'm going to do as each one strips off I'm going to pull it out and wash it off in this uh, liquid I've got here and what I've got to do when the uh, when I've got all the negatives uh, stripped off in in that liquid it'll probably turn quite black and cloudy looking but the silver is quite heavy so it should sink to the bottom uh, but what I'm going to do is wash each one off now if any uh, liquid comes over that's got silver in it it'll wash off in this wash and then what I'm going to do I'm going to weigh the uh, negatives again just to see how much silver has, has come off into this liquid now I won't be able to show all this process because I'm unable to do much editing of the videos and therefore uh, this might be a two-part video where I show uh, the results of the process which I'm going to use to get this off but I'll explain the process before I actually go on because you don't want to sit here watching me dip negatives into this liquid but it, it happens quite quickly I mean they strip off relatively quickly so uh, I'll go on doing that but what I'm going to do once I've got that liquid into this this jar and all the negatives have been have been washed off and they're all into liquid there I'm going to uh, decant off the, the the bleach I'm going to remove the bleach as much as I can by siphoning it's a good idea to siphon it rather than pouring it off because although it's heavy and it'll sink to the bottom um, it's quite difficult to do so use a siphon and if you watch look at street tips uh, videos you'll know how he does it by filling a tube and I've got a tube I've got a siphon tube here filling it with water and then uh, siphoning it off now you see now already that particular negative which is quite a big one and I kept that big one so I could show you the others are a lot smaller but uh, once you've got that stripped off I can wash it in my wash bucket just to wash it off there and uh, now it's completely clear now it's washed off completely clear and uh, what as I say what I'm going to do is weigh all the all the negatives once they've had all the stripping done and see how much I've got into that mini machine uh, now once I've cleaned that up I'm sorry I've got a bit muddled once I've uh, siphoned off and cleaned up all the uh, bleach I can off this liquid I'm going to have put it in a beaker it's much smaller beaker than this probably and the next thing to do is to add we call it caustic soda in England uh, add caustic soda to convert uh, the uh, silver chloride there into some sort of form of silver silver metal now this is uh, sodium hydroxide now this is pure sodium hydroxide I mean some people call it lye over in America they call it lye over in England here we call it uh, caustic soda so I'll put some caustic soda in there, it's a powder, don't get the liquid kind because that might not be right, it might have some other things in it, but you want pure um, sodium hydroxide or caustic soda, I'm going to put that in there and that should uh, uh, convert my uh, silver liquid into silver metal. Now strangely enough, the other chemical you use once you put the uh, hydroxide in uh, is sugar. Now I thought that was rather strange, but just ordinary uh, 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 cane sugar, granulated sugar that you'd use in your coffee or something, and you put that in. Now I'm not sure how much you're going to put in, it's a bit hit and miss, I, I saw s s Street Tips doing it, and he just added a few spoonfuls in. Now somehow, I don't know what the sugar does, but that sugar will somehow help to make, uh, to draw out the silver metal into, uh, into the liquid. And what I should be left with after washing out, uh, do some more washing, and do a lot of washing with this. You have to wash until you can't smell any uh, any bleach in this liquid when you when you're washing it before you add the hydroxide. And once you've got all the silver metal at the bottom uh, and you can't smell any bleach, then you go on to the second part where you put uh, the caustic soda in and the sugar. Oh, the sun's coming back out. That's good. Uh, and uh, it's quite a long process, so. Uh, I didn't want to keep that, uh, I, I can't, as I say, I can't edit my, uh, but I can see bits floating in there, so there is something that you wash off the negatives as you go along. So I may end up with, uh, once I wash these, there may be a little bit of residue in there, which I'll try and recover. 
Now, I'm not expecting to get a great deal of, of silver out of this. I mean, I've used here about a quarter of my uh, my negatives just to see how much I get out of out of 100 grams of negatives. I uh, get some idea of yield, but I'm not expecting to get a lot of silver. But you must remember, this didn't cost me anything. I've already spent the money on these films uh, many years ago to get the pictures. So any silver I recover is profit as far as I'm concerned, because these would just be thrown away and burnt and, and the end of, that'll be the end of that. So there wouldn't be any uh, way of getting this silver back. And yes, I had this process. So I might be able to get a little bit of silver back and, it, and it's good fun and good science uh, from my point of view. So uh, I'll carry on with that now and uh, carry on. Put in, uh, now let's have a look how we've got on here. See how many of these films. Now I only put a few in there, but as you can see, they stripped off and then I'll put them into my wash as soon as they've stripped off, or as much as I can, I'll inspect them later, and if there's any with, that have got anything still on them, I'll, uh, I'll put them back into the liquid. But uh, I only put a few in there just to start off. But you see already, those have all stripped, and my liquid has gone really black, as the, uh, the silver has been stripped off them films. Now, I don't know quite how many I'm going to get in here. I mean, they're just like slippery fish now. But I'll carry on doing that. And adding more in and washing them off in this wash bucket and uh, stripping the silver off these films now as I say it's a long process and very messy just um, transferring these uh, films from one bucket to the other as I strip them so I'll carry on doing that and uh, then I'll get back to you now I'll call this uh, video part one of the silver recovery uh, process and I'll go on adding uh, more of my films into this bucket just dropping them in oh that one's blowing away because it's windy keep adding them into my bucket one at a time so that the chemical gets in between them and uh, they strip off all the silver so I'll keep on doing that and uh, getting back to you when I've done it with the next process but I've told you the process now and that all that is all the process is just dipping them in the two chemicals to remove the silver and then eventually when you get your silver uh, metal in the bottom of the beakers after you've sieved them and uh, filtered them you'll end up with a silver metal and then I'm hoping I've got a powerful enough uh, burner that I can actually melt the uh, silver into a little button because that's the next the next thing to do after you've got the silver off here. But uh, I'll, I'll go on adding them a little bit at a time and uh, collecting my silver metal in this bowl. And hopefully that will work. Now, as I say, I'll break off now because you don't want to see me uh, just carrying on with this uh, process of dipping and skipping. Uh, and uh, you've seen the process uh, that I'm going to do, and I'll do that. And uh, I'll catch up with you later. So for the moment, it's Grandad saying bye-bye now. And uh, I'll show you what the result is of the silver silver cell business when I get out, when I got it done. Anyway, till the next time. Bye bye now.